Hi, everybody. Today, we'll be walking through the Cigent Pro platform. We'll go over its functions and features to get familiar with its uses. Assuming you have already set up your Cigent Pro account and you already have your login details set up, this is what's going to greet you the first time you log in. You click Next, and it takes you to this view, which points you to the control panel. The control panel shows several widget-like blocks. In the first row, it shows you your total portfolio, how much Yumi you are staking. But if this is your first time logging in, there won't be anything there. So don't worry. And a Yumi price chart. The second row shows your login history, your security level, and the security options available for you to increase the security of your account. If you scroll down further, you'll see your P2P Marketplace dashboard. It shows your latest activities, your reviews, and your Roy Club status. Scrolling down a little more, and you'll see the active orders in the exchange and your deals and pending exchange requests. Back to the main page, let's look at the Exchange tab. The first time you click on Exchange, you'll be met with this pop-up that has a short introduction about the exchange. Click Next. In order to make your first exchange, you'll need to select a trading pair that you want. You'll have the option to see the values either in BTC or Bitcoin, in US dollar or USD, or in RUB or Russian rubles. Pick your preference and move forward. On the left side of the page, you'll see a price chart which functions like any other chart on the other exchanges. You can set the period, time frame, and indicators as you please. Next, you'll see the market depth. This allows you to see the buying and selling pressure and can also help with your technical analysis to determine buy and sell points. Once you are ready, you can create a market order. If you're new to the exchange, a market order lets the system automatically buy or sell the cryptocurrency based on the current market price. If you're not comfortable with the current market price, you can choose the limit order option, where you select the price that you want and wait until an offer from another user matches your price. Only then can your order be executed. This may take a bit of time. The market trading box is where you can see the latest transactions made by other users. While the My Trades box shows you your completed transactions. Next on the page is your active or your non-executed orders. If you have made a limit order and are waiting for the price to be matched, this is where you see that until it gets executed after which you'll see them in your My Trades box. And that's it for the exchange, or the exchange part of the tour. If you still have questions, I suggest you list them down as it might be answered in the next part. The third stop is the P2P marketplace. P2P means peer-to-peer. -peer. Here, you'll be able to purchase your coins directly from another user. When you see this pop-up, click Next. First, choose the cryptocurrency you wish to buy or sell. Apply the filters to get offers that matches your preference. You'll be able to view all the buy offers for your selected cryptocurrency on the Buy tab. Naturally, the sell offers will be viewable on the Sell tab. Click on any of the rows to select the offer that you want. Read the conditions carefully. Pay close attention to the rate and the response time. When you are ready, enter the amount that you want to spend on the transaction. The system will automatically calculate how many coins you will receive. If you are satisfied with the offer, click Request a Deal to send a request to the seller. If the seller agrees to the deal, you will see the details of the account that you need to send funds to. 
Once you have made the payment, make sure that you notify the seller within the time limit. There is a chat option with the seller if you have any questions regarding the deal. Make sure to utilize it if you need to. Point 13 is self-explanatory and is a very good option to be available for you when you need to cancel. Once the seller gets the payment, they will release the coins to your wallet. The system will prompt you to post a review of your transaction with the seller after all is said and done. Make sure to give your feedback so you can help the other users identify the good sellers from the bad. Another choice that you can make in the P2P marketplace when you're unable to find the conditions that you want is to create your own offer. You can do this in both buy and sell options. The My Deals tab is where you can see a list of all your buy and sell transactions. My Offers tab naturally will show the offers that you made. If you still have questions after this, add them to your list as we still have a couple of areas to cover. The fourth stop in the platform is the fast buy slash sell. In other platforms, it's called convert, and it works the same way where you exchange a coin into another coin. First off, you need to choose which coin you want to give and which coin you want to get. Then enter the amount you want to buy. The purchase amount will automatically be calculated by the system. Third, enter the address where you want to receive your coins. Tick the box to confirm your acceptance of the user agreement, then click to exchange. Send the amount to be exchanged to the assigned address. Wait for a while until the set number of confirmations are completed so you can receive your exchanged coins. Okay, this is where it begins to speed up. Feel free to pause the video in each step if it becomes too fast for you. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. Winky winky. Next stop, in case you missed it, is the chat box on the lower right side of the page. You can chat with other users in the platform through this channel. Under the account icon, you can set up your profile. You can edit your details as you see fit. You can also make changes to your account security and add more layers to make your account more secure. The eighth item that we are looking at is the wallet. Among all the items, this should be the easiest to understand as we are all using this not only virtually but also physically. The wallet is where you store your coins. Ninth is the notification area. You will see your notifications by clicking the icon. Okay, we are almost to the end. I hope the questions that you've listed has been answered so far. And if not, you can always click on the frequently asked questions button. The FAQs have been broken down into categories for your ECU reference. And if you still have any questions after that, then it's time to reach out to tech support. Just fill the form and type in your queries and someone will get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for the tour. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that this video was able to help you get familiar with the platform.